Okay, so this is only like the second video I've made in about seven, eight weeks uh, since the election. But I'm really trying to make an effort because I've got a lot to do. I've only got nine months left here in Virginia and I have goals to reach and I'm not going to reach them if I'm hiding, you know, if I'm in my little hidey hole and not wanting to talk to anybody. So I'm trying to push through the ang anger and, and sadness and depression and, and the reality of what's coming down the pike and what's reported every day. I'm trying to get myself back in the studio and working and working and working and working in front of the camera instead of just in private with my own little thoughts. So, um, but what is, I mean, I've continued to paint during this time that I haven't been on YouTube and haven't been on Patreon or Instagram or Twitter or whatever. I've still been painting. I have 10, 10 paintings, <laughs> 10 paintings in rotation, including the two panel piece that's behind me. Now, I don't usually work a lot in symbolism. Uh, I just, I find it, for me, it feels lazy and, and um, it's just too easy to, re to take images that people already know um, or, you know, try and be too witty with, anyway, with symbolism and, and you know, stuff. So um, I used to do that a lot, but now it just, I just, I like the challenge of reaching people on a visceral level more. Um, having the having having the painting you know punch people in the chest just you feel it as opposed to I am saying this about this I will spell my idea out to you now I don't do that anymore so but behind me is a two panel piece I'm doing about slavery and the the capture enslavement imprisonment brutality um, violence against somewhere between 12 and 15 million um, black and brown people from, from the Africas, from, from West Africa, uh, but from the Africas. Uh, 12, I, can't, I can't quite get a, a right no, a number, a definite number on how many people were brought over, were enslaved, were captured, taken, kidnapped, captured, enslaved. But it started with 16 people on one ship. If 16 people were taken from their homes on one ship, brought across the sea, and then sold like cattle. And from then on, we were hooked into, you know, free labor, cheap labor, free labor. Uh, all you have to do is feed them. You don't really have to feed them well. You have to clothe them. You don't have to clothe them well. You, you can house them, but you don't have to house them well. And you can punish them for hating their lives. You know, that's, that's, my, that's just things that run through my head while I'm painting, um, doing, working on this painting. Uh, and the sheer hypocrisy of it. We're fighting for a free nation, but just ignore it. The people that are helping to build that free nation, uh, working for free. Uh, whose lives are lost because I don't give a shit. Like, it just, it infuriates me to no end. Um, and it's a discussion that's still going on today in the prison system and throughout, throughout the country. Anywhere, there's lots of black and brown faces that aren't, you know, that aren't provided equal treatment um, in any level. In American society. So this is what I'm talking about over here with this thing. And like I said, there's a lot of symbolism in there and it mainly I'm relying on colors as symbolism. So this is very Disney-esque at this point. It looks got a Dunkin' Donuts feel in a couple of places. But the the, the color, the symbolism in color, um, I'm, for, I'm taking cues from Kente, K-E-N-T-E, K-E-N-T-E, Kente, Cloth, uh, fabrics and clothing. Uh, African tribe Kente, they produce, if you look up Kente, you'll recognize the patterns and the colors. Uh, so that's what I'm following. Um, I don't want to get into what the yellows and the greens mean, but you will see a lot of green, well, you know, yellow is gold. There we are. Uh, prosperity, success. Uh, you'll see a lot of greens, you'll see a lot of different colors. Um, just look them up under Kente. And, and I mean what I say when I use them. Boy, I'm being vague this morning. Um, this is what happens when you get out of practice making videos. 
I also have a lot of pink. Pink is not my favorite color in the world. I really hate it. I find it deeply offensive. It makes my stomach turn. But I'm using it here to represent Washington, D.C., the cherry blossoms in Washington, D.C. The left panel has all um, has a lot, a lot of pink in it because slaves slaves are responsible to, for building our capitals. Um, uh, you know, first one that comes to mind is Washington, Washington D.C. and the White House. And uh, you know, here these people were enslaved and building what represents um, America to the most of the United, you know, to most of the world. The White House is a symbol, one of the symbols of the United States to most of the world. And I find it sadly ironic and frustratingly ironic that these slaves built one of our most well-known symbols. And they are symbols themselves in how we treat our people um, and how our ancestors uh, treated black and brown faces. Uh, I also have yellow, the yellow flowers are the cotton blossoms. I have a lot of cotton in there and I hate to fall back on something that's easy. But those little cotton blossoms built industries all across the U.S. and allowed the U.S. to sell to other countries for a very, very long time. And a lot of, a lot of businesses that are still around today are there because of the people that were enslaved and brutalized. So that's, that's my short talk on this little doodad. I have a lot of hands up. I have a lot of hands up in the background. Their hands, their hands are for hands up, don't shoot. Um, I've got black power, fists raised. I've got white hands coming down, punching, punching down, punching sideways. I've got white hands grabbing brown hands which I only did once because I don't want at any point for this to feel like white people came in and saved the day. Brown and black people, African Americans were on, have been on their own for a very, very long time fighting for their own freedoms. Um, uh, helping each other, trying to pull each other up. There's, we do have um, abolitionists, we have some white people that we can point to and say, weren't they fabulous? But I don't think it's appropriate for um, me to be patting white people on the back for doing, for helping a people that should never have been put in this position to begin with and are still in this, this horrible position fighting every day to say, I belong here. So this is one of a couple, this is two panels from 10, 10 different paintings I have going on. I haven't really talked about it, I don't think much online, but this is where I am. We're about 50% through. Today I'm gonna to be working down in this corner where there's hundreds of little figures, uh, slave figures, uh, that you would find, similar to the way you would find them laid out in the diagrams for how to, how to transport slaves on, on ships. Now let's keep in mind here, 12 to 15 million people, again, I'm not really sure what the number is, but 12 to 15 million people that, that you know, white, <laughs> white Americans had no business enslaving, capturing, enslaving, brutalizing, blah, blah, um, were shipped here across the sea. Out of 12 to 15 million, 10 million survived the tri that trip then we're we are responsible for millions more lives just being lost so that we can have cotton, we can have corn, we can have sugar, cheaply. Anyway, that's some of the, I, I would just shot off in 50 million directions. I gotta get back in the practice. I'm gonna start making more videos again and I'm gonna be slightly more cheerful hopefully the next time I make one. But I'm gonna get to work on this because I feel it's a really important subject that we need to talk about right now while we're watching hate groups come up, come out of the darkness and out of the corners and feel emboldened by the transition that's being made in DC. It's important that white people talk about this and rec rec um, recognize and acknowledge the history, the actual history that we 
we've caused in the United States, so the um, events that are even going on right now. So this is my attempt at it, and that was my half inarticulate attempt at explaining my painting. I'm going to get to work, and I want to remind you before I go, if you've liked my videos, if you've been watching them for a while, and you like my videos, and you'd like to help support projects like this, I'm in galleries, but the sales are really uneven right now. Um, and I need to keep going. I need to be able to buy paint and, and canvases. So if you're interested in supporting projects like this and getting thank yous, surprise thank yous and, and stated thank yous um, as well or rewards, please go to Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N, Patreon, and uh, look for Beck Lane. I'll also have a link available down below and I would accept any help at all. I would be deeply grateful and I will send you surprises. Okay? Time to get to work. Time to think about the next time I talk because that was ridiculous. Anyway. <laughs> Ciao. And set a plan for 2017. We're almost there. We're almost there. 2017. We're going to rock this art world. Ciao.